catching up uh, because we've not been in over the weekend finding out what we're going to do for the rest of the week and usually my Monday morning is filled up with two to three meetings um, in between those meetings I try to plan out what I'm going to do in the afternoon um, I have another meeting coming up at 11 a.m which is um, just more of like a team catch-up team stand-up the first meeting I had at 10 o'clock was for a project I'm working on for an AWS landing zone once the 11 a.m. meeting is finished, that one usually lasts between 15 to 30 minutes. I'll probably end up just going to the gym, coming back, having lunch, and then working through the rest of the afternoon. before I work I would go on a run or I would go to the gym but the British weather is not giving me anything right now um, and I can't really go on a run because of the rain anyway I don't want to get soaking wet it's been raining in the UK for probably three weeks the entirety of July our entire summer has just rained so I've just put some electrolytes on at the moment I'm gonna wait for that to go down I'm gonna drink that maybe take a little snack maybe an energy bite as well and then head off to the gym um, the meeting at 11 was supposed to last 15 minutes, but actually took 40 minutes because our lead cloud engineer wanted to go through some new things with us on the landing zone. So I am running late, which was, it's not too bad. I mean, it's still before lunchtime. I don't have core hours. I have complete flexibility in how I use my time. So I'm allowed to go to the gym. I'm allowed to leave my desk or office whenever I want, if I need to run any errands. Um, all I need to do is just make up that time to make sure I work my full hours so I actually get paid correctly. watching this and you work from home i strongly suggest you just get out of the house go to the gym go on a walk go on a run do any form of exercise you will feel better and you will make the most of your day i i cannot just sit in the house all day do nothing not get any steps not exercise i've just did back and biceps at the gym so i'm going to go home now have some lunch and then i have some terraform code to work through for aws scps the scps are security principles for the landing zone so that'll probably take up the rest of my afternoon now.
I can actually show you the real code that I'm working on, obviously, because it's company confidential, but I thought I would show you on a website online what I'm actually doing. So what I'm doing is restricting access to be able to do certain things across the landing zone. So these security principles will be applied at the top level and they'll trickle down into the other accounts. So in this one of these examples on here, there is one to restrict people from being able to create EC2 instances. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing this afternoon. I've got a bunch of different policies to go through um, that I've been given to you by the lead cloud engineer quite a lot so I need to figure out a way to make the code look nice maybe use some variables or data blocks okay guys that is the end of the day I have finished I've, I've popped out to the shops now um, after I showed you what I was working on I watched a little bit of stuff on YouTube just to get up to scratch because I haven't done a little bit of work on Terraform in a few weeks um, haven't used data blocks specifically um, and a lot of stuff I'm doing is using data sources and I don't tend to write many I am policies myself usually another person in my team does that but this task has come to me Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you all for watching once again.